Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Top 10 Banners with me, Barzilla, and we're gonna have a great stinging time on today's Top 10, because today we are doing Top 10 Star Wars Banners, super awesome, super cool, especially since Star Wars Episode 7 just came out, so I thought we'd get a little hype for this, I mean, it's been a while since the movie came out, but I've had these banners for a while, and super excited to show you them. So, first off we have General Grievous from Episode 3, um, one of those uh, Jawas from... I think episode 7. Um, then we have three different lightsabers, a, a green one, a blue one, and a red one, all on one banner. We have Boba Fett, we have Darth Vader, we have one of the TIE Fighters, it looks like it's Darth Vader's one because it's all curvy. Um, then we have a Stormtrooper, we have a lightsaber, Kylo Ren's lightsaber, so it has a little bit of this going on, and then Kylo Ren's mask to top it all up the, off. This looks so cool, so awesome. And just to say about this lightsaber, you can literally make it any color you want. So I just put like a bunch of colors here just so you know, you guys are just like, oh man, I only, I wanted a green lightsaber. Can you show me how to make a green one? Well, this, if you follow the steps of this, you can make literally every color of lightsaber. You can even make a yellow one or a, a pink one or a brown one if you wanted. Um, <laughs> but you know, uh, I don't think those are real colors. I don't, I've never seen a brown lightsaber at least. <laughs> But without further ado, we are going to get started. But first off, as I do in the beginning of every episode, I teach you some basic things. So first off, if you take the final product and the base color, the base color is always on this side, and you stick them together in a crafting table, it will duplicate it, and you can have two of it, which means, yes, one of these things may cost you a creeper head, although I don't think any of them do. Um, you can duplicate it indefinitely, so yes, you're spending money on stuff, but you can also duplicate it forever and ever and ever. So, that's always a cool thing. Um, another th key thing to mem memorize is a golden apple that I use. I may use a, a golden apple or two. I may actually not. Um, I don't actually quite remember fully. But this is a golden blocks around a go an apple, not golden like uh, ingots. It's golden blocks, so you know, it's nine per block and eh. It's expensive, but once again, you can duplicate it indefinitely, and if you have a gold farm, this isn't even a problem. Last but not least is the creeper head. That is the most hard to get. It is I don't think I've ever had one ever in-game, although I should try to just do it in my survival one of these days. But what you have to do is you have to find a supercharged creeper, which is a creeper hit by lightning, quite rare. Um, you know, don't sleep off those rainstorms because you want lightning to happen. And then you go find it, and then you have it explode next to a normal creeper. So I suggest you have like a creeper name tagged and won't despawn at your base or something. And uh, just bring the other guy there and have him blow up and kill this creeper so you can get his head. You can only get one head per supercharged creeper explosion. I really wish that wasn't a thing, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Sorry, I hit the mic a little bit there. <laughs> but I guess it kind of makes sense if you know you couldn't get like a billion creeper heads per one supercharged creeper. Although it still doesn't seem unfair to me, but whatever. It's the way they made the game, and it's the way we gotta play. But guys, as always, be sure to leave a like and comment if you enjoyed. And then also, in the comments below, I encourage you to submit your banner designs for top 10 banners um, in the future. Also, I would um, highly recommend you give me ideas of themes of the top 10 banners. So last one, we did two Christmas banners. Now we're doing a Star Wars. Tell me what you want to see again in the future in the comments below. But once again, to how to do all that um, tells you in the comments below. So I have it. I mean the description, not the comments. <laughs> Alright, so first, but definitely, definitely, definitely not least, we have General Grievous. Um, very key guy in Star Wars Episode 3. <laughs> coffee, coffee. Alright, so first off, you're going to want a gray base banner. Um, then you're going to put a red dye in the middle. You will get this. White dye, white bone meal in the middle with your banner. You will get this. Gray dye like this. I'm assuming this is normal gray dye. Yes, it is normal gray dye like this with your banner. And you will get this. A um, bone meal and oxide daisy with your banner. You will get this. Great eye on the top with your banner. And then you got your general grievous skin. It's super easy, super um, not hard to get at all. Um, one thing to note is you have an entire extra layer if you want, if you guys are good with banners and want to add something. But there you go, general grievous. Super, super cool. Alright, so next, but definitely not least, um, excuse me. <clears throat> I had to get a little coffee, coffee there. But we have a Jawa, and the Jawas are those like junk trader little stubby guys that you see in the Star Wars Episode 7 that want to take C3PO, or that actually take C3PO and R2D2. R2 but there you go, um, here's the Jawa, so you're going to need a black base banner. 
yellow die in the middle with your banner, you will get this. Black die in the middle with your banner, and you will get this. And then uh, cocoa beans all around with your banner, you will get this. And I highly re recommend you do it one more time just to solidify the uh, um, exterior of the banner. Yes, you could. I actually recommend you probably do it one more time. But the reason you do it too is just so these eyes become less prominent. Like in this one, you can see those that yellow in that eye very, very, very much. Where this one, it's just kind of hint. A uh, small little hint and it just adds extra little detail. So once again, you're going to want to at minimum do this twice. You can do it a third time and it'll probably help all the better. Just depending on your supply of cocoa beans. Very cool, very, very cool. I think these would be cool just to throw all over in a cave. i am just be kind of creepy with somebody. <laughs> Alright, so next, but definitely not least, we have the triple lightsaber, and I thought this was super cool. Now, for you, those of you guys asking, hey, um, can I make a, um, you know, put a purple one in the middle instead and stuff? Yes, you very much can. So, how it works is, whenever you see um, lime green, change it with the lightsaber color you want. Um, the base banner is the um, middle one, and then whenever you see red, just change it with the color you want so you can make whatever color lightsabers you want but I figured the three most iconic ones were the ones I was gonna do so first off you're gonna need a bl light blue base banner you're gonna put the red here that makes a red lightsaber so there you go then you're gonna do the green and that'll make the green lightsaber and so once again it, you can change these and the base color if you want to change the colors but after this you're gonna do the exact same thing and then you're going to use bone meal like this with your banner and we'll add that kind of tint to make it look more lightsabery then you're going to add a gray base banner on the bottom and you will get this black dye like this with your banner and you'll get this and then black dye ink sacks all around with your banner and you got your triple banner um lightsaber banner super awesome super cool definitely something you impress your friends it's gonna be so hype oh man i can't wait to verse star wars episode 8. <laughs> all right next and definitely another amazing banner is the boba fett banner um, which is Jango Fett's son, and you see him in Star Wars Episode 8. You might see him in 7 as well. I don't know. Anything with Jabba the Hutt, you'll see him. But, um, awesome bounty hunter. But I love the little detail in the corner here and up here. It just makes it so cool and so awesome. So, to make your Boba Fett banner, you're going to need a red base banner. You're going to do black dye like this with your banner. You'll get this. Red dye like this with your banner, and you'll get this. Ink sacks in the middle with your banner. And you will get this. Um, cactus green dye on the top with your banner. And you will get this. Then you're going to do light gray dye like this. To add the cool little thing up here. But then you're going to put a cactus green dye with your banner. And then that will cut that little corner off. And you got your Boba Fett banner. Super awesome. Super cool. Super amazing. I love it so much. So cool. So awesome. Okay. Let us see what we have next. Okay, so we have Darth Vader banner. I've made another Darth Vader in the past. I'm not sure which one I like more, but they're both super awesome. You should definitely check out my other episodes. I do not remember what episode was the Darth Vader, but I know for sure I did it. But for this one, it's pretty stinking cool. So for this one, you're going to need a black base banner. Red dye in the middle with your banner, you will get this. Gray dye on the bottom with your banner, you will get this. Ink sacks like this with your banner, you will get this. Ink sacks all stinging around with your banner, you will get this. And then ink sacks all around the top with your banner, you will get this. And then ink sacks like this with your banner. And you will get your Darth Vader helmet. Super cool, super awesome. A lot of ink, ink sacks, so I guess you're going to have to kill a lot of squids for this, but it'll definitely be worth it. Um, I'm actually quite proud of how I don't have any creeper heads or um, in these banners so far. Because, um, you know, I understand creeper heads are not practical at all in survival. <laughs> Um, okay, so for next we have the TIE Fighter. It, it looks like Darth Vader's once again because it's all curvy. So you're going to need a black base banner. You're going to do gray dye on the top with your banner, you'll get this. Gray dye on the bottom with your banner, you'll get this. An oxide daisy and gray dye with your banner, you'll get this. And then ink sack in the middle with your banner, and you got this. Now the cool thing is, we have two extra um, layers to work with, which means... If you guys find any um, kind of cool spacey backgrounds, like um, I guarantee you, you could make some stars probably with um, bricks and stuff. You could add those layers up there and then make a cool little um, TIE fighter with space in the background. But I'm not going to be bothered with that today, but it is super cool either way. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, yes. Next we have the um, 
a stormtrooper. Now, guys, if you guys can make the first order stormtroopers, the new ones, I'll definitely show that in a future banner um, video because those are super cool. I love the new mass design on them. But here we go. We have an older storm stormtrooper from the um, Galactic Empire. Okay, you're going to need a black base banner. You're going to do um, bone meal all on the top of your banner. You will get this bone meal with a kind of X-ish X design um, with your banner. You'll get this. Um, bone meal like this with your banner, you'll get this, and then finally a uh, bone meal with the vines with your banner, and you got your stormtrooper face, super awesome, super duper cool, and I just love it so much, it's definitely cool. Once again, you have two whole layers to mess with, so if you guys can make a cool first order design with two more layers, that would be super awesome, super cool. Um, this almost looks like it, but I mean, I'd like to add a little extra design to make it look actually cool. <laughs> Alright, so next we have the lightsaber banner. Now, once again, I think I make a red lightsaber, but if you want to make any other color, just replace the red colors, like red dyes I use with the color of your choice. So, you know, in, instead of this red dye, use purple dye for everything, and in everything else, I use red dye, at, you know. I think you only have to change the beginning, though. Alright, so for the lightsaber, you're going to need a white base banner. You're going to white base banner with the dye of your choice to make the color, and you'll get this. Then you're going to do gray dye on the bottom of your banner. You'll get this. Gray dye, light gray dye like this with your banner. You'll get this. Ink sacks on the left side with your banner. You'll get this. Ink sacks on the right side with your banner. And you got this. Super awesome, super cool. Definitely impress all your friends that you have a cool little lightsaber um, of your choice of color. Super awesome, super cool. Now, next and definitely not least is Kylo Ren's lightsaber. He has the cool little like side to side lightsaber. Now, this is very similar to the previous design, only I did tweak it a little bit to add that, um, make it look real. So, you're going to need a red base banner. Um, you're going to do red dye like this. Um, oops, sorry. It is a white base banner. Man, I made a lot of mistakes today. But, you're going to need a white base banner. You're going to do red dye like this with your banner. You will get this. Um, gray dye on the bottom with your banner and you will get this light gray dye like this with your banner and you'll get this um, Ink sacks on this side with your banner. You'll get this ink sacks on this side with your banner And you'll get this and then a little red dye on the top like this with your banner and you got Kylo Ren's lightsaber So now you have the extra little handguard lightsabers <laughs> definitely super cool and super awesome now although that is super awesome it is not as awesome as Kylo Ren's mask um, his, uh, is just so cool, so awesome, and definitely something your friends will immediately know. Oh, dude, you have that? That's so cool. Um, and be impressed and bow before you or something. I don't even know. But it's super awesome, so let's get started. You're going to need a light gray base banner. You're going to need ink sacks in the middle with your banner. You'll get this. Um, gray dye, normal gray dye with your banner, and you will get this. Um, uh, bone meal and vines with your banner, you will get this. Ink sacks and vines with your banner, you will get this. And then ink sacks on the top with your banner, and you cut that off, and it, you got Kylo Ren's mask. Once again, an entire layer extra to do, mess around with. And you guys may be wondering uh, why you do the white and then the black, and that adds um, this nice color to the side of it. It makes it actually look nice and you know, like it's supposed to be. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. It's, a lot of these were super awesome. I'm definitely gonna make some of these on my single player worlds. And man, they're just so awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to leave a like and comment if you did. Once again, if you have any awesome banners you found slash make, made, be sure to check the comments below to find out how to submit it. Um, once again, not the comments, the description, because I am a fool and can't remember the difference between the comments and the description, but check the description to find out how to submit awesome man.